Okay. Listen, okay, let me show you this one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Allah, he sent two angels. One of them is Jibreel. And they, they brought with them two dishes. One has faith and one has wisdom. And then they, they opened the chest of Muhammad. And they put all the faith in the, you know, the, uh, the, the vein of Muhammad. So why Allah needed to make a surgery to Muhammad to give him wisdom? Is it, this is a proof that Muhammad obviously need to be fixed and his wisdom is not there? When he was young, he strengthened Muhammad. What he's young? I mean, the, Muhammad, he become a, a prophet after the age of 40. And now already he is a prophet. And this is long after he become a prophet. Absolutely. And now Don't Allah, think. this is when, when this is when Muhammad, he went to heaven. So now, and my friend, oh, so listen, listen, listen. Listen, why Allah he need? He th and by the way, do you Muslim believe that wisdom come in dishes? No, but we believe that for Jibreel bring for for special for Muhammad. Oh, so uh, there's a special dish for Muhammad. But what do you mean? No, we don't believe. You just said yes. So you agree that Allah He sent Muhammad two dishes, one dish full of faith, and the other dish is full of wisdom. Correct? And Jibreel put to his chest. Yes. Uh huh. So do you agree? You Muslim, you believe? And like you see, we are we are trying to prove that Muhammad is a crazy. Obviously, all of you are crazy because who in the world want to believe that wisdom come in dishes? Who in the world believe that belief come in dishes? And then a gold tray, gold tray containing a gold bowl, a full of belief and wisdom was brought. And then Jibreel stuffed his chest uh, and his throat, blood vessels with it. So we are trying to prove that Muhammad is crazy, but obviously all of you are crazy. His, his wisdom is something physical. But two children. Listen, listen. Listen. Focus with me. Focus with me. Is wisdom something physical? We can put it in a dish. Muhammad. Uh, My friend, I want an answer. According to you, as a Muslim, is wisdom something physical? We can put it in a dish. Normally, no. But for uh, normally, what do you mean normally? Lo? explain to us. No, guys. Normally, no. Explain. Elaborate. Allah don't give this dish to anybody but Muhammad. But doesn't matter. This is the question now. So Allah, he have wisdom in dishes. Wisdom in Islam is something physical. You can eat it. You can stuff it. It's like making a chicken with rice. It's a holy, like how you have a holy water. We have What holy this. water, my friend? Water is water still. I mean, we did not make the whole, well, water is water. We are using still water. We are not using something that's not there. Water is still a water. But we are talking about the wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom is about education, knowledge, intelligence, uh, you know, all those things together, they will, they will create wisdom. So uh, your God, he sent a dish of wisdom. And, and what about the dish of faith? Uh, do you Muslims, okay, when you, when you become a Muslim, did you receive any dish of faith and then you become a Muslim? Like when your mom, she gave birth to you, she, she's a Muslim. Hmm? And then she look at you, oh, my son is weak. He's not a good weak. He's not good, strong in faith. So did she give you a dish, a dish of wisdom and you ate it and you become a strong Muslim? No, this special only for Rasulullah. Ah, the special donkey. That's what we are saying. Muhammad is so donkey to the point we need to get him a dish of uh, food uh, to, for his penis. I mean, everything this guy, he was a stuff. His penis was a stuff by the shish kebab. His faith was a stuff by a d dish. And even his wisdom he come in in a dish. So what he have then? Nothing. This guy is all screwed up. His penis not working. His brain is not functioning. And his belief is not there. So Allah, he needed to fix everything, starting from the penis and then with the faith and then with that, going through the, the wisdom. This one for Muhammad, not for the... Exactly, religion. that's mean Muhammad is so much junkie, man. I mean, this junkie, if he needed a lot of work, it's like going to the junkyard. Not everybody need that, you know, because <laughs> Muhammad, he have no motor. He have no battery. His penis is not working, the battery is off. His motor, his heart is not functioning. Look, the hadith says even, they open his chest all the way to his testicles from here to here, and they took everything off. I mean, the guy, he is so junky, man. I mean, what they found? And they clean it out. 
why Allah he need to do surgery for such a man? I mean, obviously, okay, did Allah need make a surgery like this for Moses? Allah talked to Moses. See, Moses right away already, he's smart. He do not need to make a surgery for him. And Allah never spoke to Muhammad. So after the surgery, Muhammad is still stupid. Like now, this is this is the story Muhammad he told, he said, he, he mentioned after the surgery. Well, obviously, Muhammad is still donkey because there's nobody will mention such a story unless he's a donkey. Who's going to believe in such a garbage? There's two angels. They come here to my house and they cut my chest from here to here, and then they took off my heart and my abandonment and blah 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 blah, blah. and then they brought a dish of uh, fish and a dish of wisdom. And they put it inside, and then what? You became a scientist? After this surgery, what happened to Muhammad? Did he become so smart? He become very... He have prophecy, he have more faith. We are laughing at his prophecy. Isn't it your prophet who prophesied that the sun set in murky water? Isn't it your prophet who prophesied that the women have a sperm coming from her breast? And we mentioned that last time. And I show it to you, and you said, and you said I accept Ibn Kathir, and Ibn Kathir he is saying that sunset is for Dhul Karnain, and it's not. Yeah, but who is the one who told us about it, Muhammad? And isn't it Muhammad in the Hadith? He agree. He said this is the sunset in murky water, in muddy hot water. He's talking about from because Dhul Karnain do that. Do do what? What Dhul Karnain? Do what? What he do? It's in the front of you. The prophet said, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. This is the guy who was sitting behind him. You know, he actually is doing the right thing. Don't never sit in the front of Muhammad. He just ate a dish of shish kebab and his penis never goes sleep. So I was sitting, now we understand why he's sitting behind. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, who asked Muhammad? Do you know where the sun this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best because your prophet, he's, he work in NASA, my friend. Come on. And look, the Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a fool man. His name is Muhammad. We need the plastic surgery to fix his wisdom. Okay, Allah and his apostle knows best. Muhammad, he loved to hear this, you know, when he said to him, Allah and his apostle knows best. Ah, this was his, actually, this is why he's asking the question, do you know? Because he want to show off, you know? This is what the fool do. Do you know where the sun set? That guy, he have no idea. Oh, Allah and his message knows this. And Muhammad now continue. He want to show us how much knowledgeable he is. He said, it said in a spring of warm water, Hamia. Actually, Hamia is not warm. Hamia is hot. So why must they lie and they say, this is al Karnain, he thought, and this is from his perspective. And you know, you know what the Muslim they were saying? It doesn't say that, CP. The Prophet, he did not say that, CP, or the other solution. This hadith is reported by Susu from Fufu to Dudu. Dudu, he said to Nunu that from Sufyan, from Ibn Hussein, from Utayba, from Imam Murra, from Ibn Ibrahim, from, from, from Abu Zarr. But Abu Dhar, everybody knows that Abu Zarr is a liar. Like, come on. All of us, we knew he lied. I mean, it is famous, the guy. I mean, suddenly they are... They, they will find they will, they will find the problem with it. That's it. I mean, come on. This guy is a liar, brother. This guy is a liar. There's no way this is a true hadith. I mean, like, what the heck? If this hadith is not a true, why you Muslims, you write it for 1400 years? And now, because of a Christian prince, suddenly all those guys became liars? So, no, no, he said to Harun. Harun, he said to Safun. Safun, he said to Hassun. Hassun, he said to Hakum. Hakum said to Atuba. Atuba said to Ibrahim. Ibrahim, he said to Zuzu. Zuzu said to Mimi. Mimi said to Dudu. Dudu is very well known to be a fraud. What the heck? I never said can be fraud. I I, well, I, who cares? I so, no, you are saying to me, I mean, what you will say, uh, I keep saying to you, this is what the prophet said, and you said to me, maybe, maybe. What maybe? It's in the front of you.